Fault tolerance and business continuity are two of the most important driving forces for businesses today. Companies need to be able to recover from catastrophes, outages caused by natural events or operation failures quickly and with as minimal downtime as possible. In order to do this, it is critical to implement a world-class disaster recovery as a service or DRIS solution and have a strong business continuity and disaster recovery or BCDR plan in place. Gartner, one of the greatest research firms, recognized Microsoft DRAS solution, Azure Site Recovery or ASR, an industry leader in 2019 for its completeness of vision and ability to execute. It is marked as cloud native service, although it is adaptable enough to work in on-premise, hybrid and multi-cloud environments. So hello guys, greeting from IntelliPath YouTube channel. Today with this session, we are going to take you through the intricacies of ASR. But before we dive deep into technical jargon, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button and bell icon so that you never miss an update from IntelliPath YouTube channel. First of all, we shall discover an agenda for this session. We'll begin this session with an introduction to Microsoft Azure. Then we will learn about Microsoft's Azure Site Recovery System. Next, we'll look into the advantages of ASR. And finally, we'll learn about how you can replicate data to the cloud with ASR. I hope I have made myself clear with the agenda. So without any ado, let's get started with the first topic of our session, Introduction to Microsoft Azure. Microsoft Azure is frequently touted as having infinite potential and limitless possibilities. But what exactly does Azure accomplish and what can it achieve for your business? Well, to sort of propose a definition, I would say Azure is a public cloud computing platform at its core, offering solutions such as Infrastructure as a Service or IaaS, Platform as a Service or PaaS, and Software as a Service SaaS, that can be used for analytics, virtual computing, storage, networking, and much more. Azure is a fast, versatile, and affordable platform with the finest public cloud offerings on the market in terms of pricing and features. Let's look at a few use cases of Azure to sort of gain insights into why it is more important or the best cloud tool out there. The first use case of Azure is that it is a really good cloud framework to host and develop web and mobile applications. Whether you are searching for a platform to host, create or administer a web app or mobile app, Azure makes those apps autonomous and adaptive with patch management and auto scale and on-premise app connectivity. You can spend less time maintaining your infrastructure and more time enhancing your apps with automatic patch management for virtual machines. Azure also has support for continuous development which helps you to simplify ongoing code modifications. Autoscale is a feature integrated into Azure web apps that automatically changes your resources based on customer web traffic, ensuring that you have the resources you need when traffic is heavy while saving money when it is not. You can connect your online app to an on-premise app using Azure. By connecting apps in both locations, workers and partners may have safe access to resources inside your firewall that would otherwise be impossible to reach externally. The next use case for Azure we have is it can interface with your Active Directory to enhance your identity and access capabilities, providing your DNS with global reach, centralized management and strong security. You can use Azure to worldwide deploy an Active Directory environment with Direct Connect enabled. Azure is the only cloud provider that can expand the scope of your domain controller and streamline Active Directory management. If you have multiple locations or use on-premise apps or cloud apps like Microsoft 365, Active Directory integration with Azure will be the central tool for managing and maintaining access to all of these tools. Azure also enables you to utilize multi-factor authentication, adding a new layer of security to your data and applications with zero hassle for your users. You can also easily implement single sign-on on Windows, Mac, Android and iOS cloud apps. Next up is possibility of innovation with Internet of Things industry solutions. Microsoft Azure scalability and adaptability and security makes it an ideal resource for businesses moving towards IoT solutions. You can connect your devices to the cloud using solutions that integrate with your existing infrastructure 
and start collecting new data about your company. Hub, you can monitor and manage billions of devices and gain insights to help you make better business decisions, improve customer experience, reduce complexity, lower cost, and speed up development. Azure's strengthened security is a big benefit for IoT technologies, which have historically had security holes that hackers may exploit. Remote monitoring, predictive maintenance, and analytics are further advantages that this cloud offers. Final and the most important feature Azure offers is the backup and disaster recovery. Azure is a backup and disaster recovery dream tool. Why? Because of its flexibility, advanced site recovery, and built in integration. Azure, being a cloud based solution, is inherently adaptable. It can back up your data in practically any language or any operating system and from any place. Furthermore, you control the frequency and scope of your backup routines such as daily, weekly, monthly, etc. Tape backups has a time and place, but it has limited abilities as a standalone backup and disaster recovery solution. Azure Site Recovery can enhance your tape backup with offsite replication. Minimum on site maintenance up to 99 years of data retention, minimal or no capital investment, and minimal operational cost. Azure Backup maintains three copies of your data in three distinct locations around the data centers, as well as another three copies in your distant Azure data center. So you never have to worry about your data loss. If you are working in a Windows virtual environment, Azure's built-in backup integration will be quick and straightforward solution. Azure Site Recovery interfaces with System Center and Hyper-V architecture, resulting in a strong and smooth collaboration between Azure and System Center. This is exactly what we refer to as DRAS or Disaster Recovery as a Service solution. Now moving ahead, we'll look into the details of Azure Site Recovery. Disaster Recovery as a Service is a crucial for company operations. Today, IT executives will only be able to find peace of mind if there is disaster recovery in place that manages outages, prevents downtime and helps them maintain compliance. But there is a problem. Traditional disaster recovery solutions are often piecemeal and require owning or leasing a security site which comes with a large price tag and unnecessary administrative overhead. It doesn't have to be this way. Azure Site Recovery is a built-in disaster recovery solution that orchestrates and manages DR for your Azure virtual machines, on-premise virtual machines, or physical servers. Azure Site Recovery or ASR is a DRAS service provided by Azure that is intended for usage in cloud and hybrid cloud architectures. This ASR is basically a near-constant data replication method that ensures data copies are in sync. The Azure Site Recovery applications consist snapshot functionality, which assures that the data is usable after the failover. Customers can utilize Azure as a disaster recovery site on a pay-as-you-go basis, eliminating the need to invest in new infrastructure. With Azure Site Recovery, there is no need to purchase additional hardware or hire more IT personnel for disaster recovery you'll only have to pay for compute resources that you have spun up in the event of disaster recovery drill or a real disaster. With Azure Site Recovery, you can painlessly replicate your applications and data to a different Azure region all from the Azure portal. You can also arrange the right failover sequences for your complex applications such as SAP and SharePoint with a single click using recovery plans. Azure Site Recovery makes your compliance drill so easy, test your disaster recovery plans without impacting end users, and performs DR drills as many times as you want, without affecting your production of applications. If you are worried about scaling, then don't be. Azure Site Recovery can be scaled to as many applications as needed. With best-in-class recovery data objectives, your data loss in case of disaster will be as low as few seconds to single digit minutes. Also, with best in class recovery time objectives, it takes as low as 30 minutes to complete a recovery of complex applications such as SAP and SharePoint. Reduce cost, complexity and recovery time are the features that have made many companies opt for ASR and rate it highly in the cloud industry. As a disaster recovery system, ASR offers supports for multiple scenarios such as 
it can replicate physical servers from on premise and third party services to the azure cloud system it can also escalate windows or linux virtual machines hosted in vmware or aws or azure stack to azure i hope the concept of asr is clear to all of you guys now moving ahead we'll explore its feature or advantages the first advantage of asr is that it is reasonably priced asr will charge you for each protected instance as well as the cost of storing the replicated data the service is free for the first 31 days after which protection fees will apply the data being transported to storage is compressed with an average compression ratio of 50% lowering storage cost even more during continuing protection no computing network infrastructure facility leasing or software license payments are required which is a yet another benefit next up we have data resilience the duplicated data is kept in azure storage which is by default resilient to defend against data center failures there will be at least 3 copies of the data available in locally redundant storage which is commonly referred to as lrs customers can use geo redundant storage to defend against regional outages for further security then we have asr enables heterogeneous workloads ASR supports protection of Windows and Linux workloads hosted on physical servers, on-premises, VMs hosted in Hyper-V, and machines in third-party hosting platforms. It can also protect virtual machines in Azure from regional outages. The Azure ASR console provides a unified view on the replication status of all your different workloads and allows you to carry maintenance tasks such as tweaking recovery plans. Fourth feature we have is ASR is app consistent. ASR captures the in-memory data and transactions along with the disk data and ensures that the recovery points are applicable and consistent. For Windows, it is enabled throughout VSS and in Linux, it is done using application custom scripts. Fifth important feature we have conveys that ASR provides business continuity and disaster recovery integration. ASR provides seamless integration with native application BCDR features such as SQL Always On and Oracle Data Guard. This makes it possible for organizations to adopt the service without major overhauls in their application ecosystem. Finally, we have RPO and RTO targets. RPO and RTO signifies recovery point objectives whereas RTO signifies recovery time objectives. ASR enables replication frequency as low as 30 seconds and may be adjusted to meet RPO and RTO requirements particularly to the company. RTO may be lowered further by connecting automation runbooks with your recovery plans as well as integration with traffic manager. Recovery plans are extremely customizable, allowing for the rapid and sequential failover and recovery of multi-tiered applications such as databases and web services. I hope These advantages are clear to all of you guys. Now we will delve towards the last topic for this session that is how you can replicate data to the cloud with ASR. The first phase that begins the process of data replication or backup on cloud is planning. A DRAS strategy is governed by various aspects including RTO and RPO targets, storage capacity, planning, network bandwidth, network reconfiguration and daily change rate. The Azure Site Recovery Deployment Planner can assist you in analyzing your source environment for VMware and Hyper-V environments as well as planning for capacity and scale in the target Azure environment. One aspect of Azure ASR to keep in mind at this point is network planning. Customers can choose to retain existing IP addresses, but that would require failover of the entire subnet in addition to the machine. Alternatively, A new network range from Azure can be used if that works for the application architecture after failover. While replicating VMs and physical machines to Azure, be sure to check the support matrix to understand the prerequisites and Azure site recovery constraints. It is also advisable to confirm the types of workloads that can benefit from app agnostic protection. Here is a pro tip for you guys. In this phase all of you should generally look out for limitations like supported operating systems the 4 tb limit for managed disks and the 8 tb limit for disk on storage on each protected vm also look out for additional charges for storage account usage storage transactions and outbound data transfers 
when configuring ASR so that your final billing will turn out to be reasonable. Now that we have a solid plan based on source environment analysis and capacity planning, we can start preparing our environments for replication. The first step is to get the source ready. ASR supports a variety of solution environments including VMware with or without vCenter, Hyper-V virtual machines with or without SCVMM, physical servers and Azure virtual machines. It can also be utilized for disaster recovery of machines in other cloud service providers such as AWS or from third-party hosting services using the same procedure as for safeguarding physical servers. It is vital to remember that the requirements vary depending on the source environment. To help manage, coordinate and transfer the encrypted and compressed data chunks to the recovery service destinations, VMware VMs, for example, would require extra resources such as configuration servers, process servers and mobility services. Next step is to create storage and network accounts which will house the replicated on-premise machines. For this purpose, make a note guys that for the storage accounts, you'll have to decide between standard and premium account types and set the LRS and GRS replication options based on your recovery point objectives. Cause that is what going to parameterize your replication, right? Now it is time to configure and activate replication. After you have prepared the source and destination, you'll need to develop a replication strategy that corresponds with your RTO and RPO goals. Select the virtual machine to be replicated and the replication policy that you previously set. Finally, enable the initial replica and make a note that this process can take quite some time. Following the completion of the initial replication, ASR replicates data in incremental chunks or we can call it as a modified data at the interval set by your replication strategy. The next step we have is failover and fallback. Now that you have completed the replication, it's time to check the configuration and determine whether or not you need to run a failover. Test failover, planned failover and unplanned failover are the three types of failovers. A test failover has no effect on production, but a planned or unplanned failover entails moving the production site to the replication location, which might be Azure or another host. A test failover may be performed using a recovery plan to organize the failover of several machines or manually for each VM via the Azure interface. If you use a scheduled failover, remember to protect the computers once the failover happens. Also. Once your source site is up, you can fail back the VMs using the process servers, master target servers and a fail back policy. Final stage for replication is manage, monitor and troubleshoot. It is recommended that you continue to check your replication setting to ensure that your RPO targets remain match. To achieve these goals, you can modify replication settings or add scaled out process servers. Aside from task notifications on the Azure interface, ASR provides its own event log source that may be used to address replication issues. That's all we have for this introductory session on Azure Site Recovery. I hope the terminologies and concepts covered in this video are clear to all of you guys out there. If you have liked this video, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. Also hit that subscribe button in order to stay tuned with multiple tech oriented updates from IntelliPath YouTube channel. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.